Oh, what up, y'all? Welcome back to another Live the Dream Cube. Let's see if we can do a little better than we did last time. For a cube, we're just learning. <clears throat> I figure we're doing fine. We're doing fine. Expropriate. Oh, boy. Also, Cruel Ultimatum? Yeah, it's literally... I was watching the Mythic Invitational, and it's literally just... I love Historic. Historic's been great. But when you get Historic on the most competitive of stages... You're only going to, any format really, you're only going to be getting like the tier one decks, the two or three tier one decks. And that's basically what's happening, right? Like when you play it on Arena, you're going to run into a bunch of stuff and you can pretty much play whatever you want <clears throat> and have a good time. But once you get <clears throat> to that like highest competitive level, you're going to see two or three decks, which is always unfortunate. And one of the reasons that I like casual grindy play more than I do, you know hyper competitive play four damage divided among any number of targets with madness that's pretty good it's either cruel to made or expropriate right so anyway my point is i was watching the mythic invitational and i was just getting tired of seeing goblins and jun sacrifice decks over and over and over so <clears throat> i want to take cruel ultimatum there's always a greater power so, oh, Atrus is nice. Kyers and Muffin of Doom, thank you guys both for the subs. Really appreciate you guys. What is it? A 2 3 Hydra. Death Touch. Add two mana of any one color. Whenever you cast a spell with X and its mana cost, create a Hydra with X counters. That's fascinating. <coughs> I think it's just Blood Crypt. I mean. We have Cruel Ultimatum. I want to take Blood Crypt. Put it over here. I, I would have also liked Atrus. Atrus is very good. It's basically like a, a kind of a mold drifter. I don't even know what the top tier decks in Historic is, but if I had to guess, Muxus is one of them, and that's just Unirac. Yeah, it's it's literally Muxus. Jun Sacrifice and, like, Black Red... Sacrifice? Is it Black Red Sacrifice? I don't even know. <clears throat> uh, Exile on the card, put four time counters on it. This is one of the ways you're meant to cast Cruel Ultimatum in this cube, but I also think Is It Signet is also a way to cast Cruel Ultimatum in the cube. So I'm going to take Izzet Signet. I mean, this pack's great for us. If Urza, Joyra, Agonizing Remorse, or Ravenous Chupacabra come back, I'm pretty okay with that. The Grixis Cube was great, but I did feel like it was a little narrow in the sense that, like, it's Grixis. <clears throat> so I feel like there's only so many things you can do. I definitely do miss, like, white and, and, and green, you know? Oh, what up, Fritzy? Fritzy, you off work today? Yes, I'm off work because it's Friday and I don't work on Friday. I actually love Reflecting Pool. I think it's Reflecting Pool. I actually, Watcher's good, too. I'm going to take the pool. I think mana's uh, pretty important. <coughs> And when you have Cruel Ultimatum, this is basically a try land so, yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, a Badlands. And a Rakdos Signet? Shit. Oh, boy, a Grixis Draft. I th oh, God, I have to go Badlands, right? When a Corpse Target dies, if you draw, you draw X cards and lose X Rexes, then there are creature cards in Target Player's Graveyard. It's actually pretty good. Empowered Auto Generator is about to fill tapped. Put X Charge Counters. Put a Charge Counter on it. Add X Man of any one color Rexes, number of Charge Counters on it. Eh. I'm just thinking Badlands, guys. <clears throat> 
Gonti is pretty sweet. Um, yeah, I'm just taking Gonti. I thought they said Annie Falconrath. A 1-3 three for 3. Discard a card. Draw a card. Whenever you discard a card. If it has madness, untap Angie. Angie! I'm just taking Feather Pools. People are people, so I can't see. <coughs> you and I should get along so awfully. Boom, boom, boom. Hedron Archive's pretty good, except for the fact that it can't cast Scroll Ultimatum. What does Chainer do? Discard a card, you may cast a creature spell from your grave. The, one of the archetypes in this cube is discard, like self discard. So you discard a card and you can cast a creature from your graveyard. So basically, your the the card in your hand is being replaced by the creature in your graveyard. Anakin's haste. I'm gonna we're erring towards Baron here, but I want to see what. Excel the top two cards of level and you may you play those cards. Okay, so this is probably meant. If this is kind of even playing cards, just the. If a spell, if this spell is cast from the graveyard, you may play those cards. I'll pay. Oh. Oh, you have to pay their mana costs. Yeah, but still, I can flash it back. <clears throat> Whatever. Until the end of your next turn. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Okay. Okay, so one of the things I love, and one of the things I try to do in my own cube, is include all the obscure, like, commander cards. Expropriate came back. That's pretty sweet. Uh, is include all like obscure commander and jumpstart cards. Like one of the things I love doing is going through the commander sets and like finding obscure cards that would be great in cube. Hold on one second. Let me see. I gotta open this guy. Oh, you're on the right side. <coughs> like I have a whole a whole list of cards like uh, doomed artisan. Uh, Eminatu's Augury, Estrid's Invocation, Crick's Son of Yogmoth, Angie's Ravager, Anyes, uh, uh, Eryxmethes, the Slumbering Isle, Kestia, the Cultivator, Lord Windgrace, like, I just pick out a bunch of cool cards that would go well in a cube, and then I'm like, let me see if these fit. It's either Atris or it's Bone Crusher Giant. Bone Crusher Giant might be better here. I mean, it's kind of like, it's removal, so... Oh, and the Agonizing Remorse came back. Today is the start of our second trimester for our sub baby. Thanks for the content. Love me some ultimatums. Odysseus, I appreciate you, buddy. <laughs> oh, I appreciate you. Kyers, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. I don't know if I said that when it happened, but I meant it. Oh, the Corpse Auger came back. That's kind of cool. I don't think we're going to have that many... Uh, uh, I don't necessarily love any of these 4-drops. Four 4-drop, four 4-drop, four 4-drop. Four They're going to go over here for now. So one of the archetypes in this cube is red, green, instants and sorceries that like you don't have to actually cast. <clears throat> so that's interesting. So basically you want to look for ways. What it deals combat damage to player, XL the time for your library and play that card. 
that's great and all, but like, you still have to pay the mana cost for these. Super Fritz with a gifted sub to Poop McToots. <laughs> There's no way that's a real person, nor is that person going to resub, but that's a funny name, so I appreciate you, buddy. <clears throat> Karu Mind Eater. Uh, we played against this guy in our first draft. And I think this is probably fine. Mana Confluence and City of Brass in the same pack. Also Prismatic Lens. Seagate Oracle is pretty nice. Yuriko is fine, but like... Create a token that's a copy of target creature card in your graveyard except it's an artifact. It gains haste, and then you sacrifice it. It might just be Mana Confluence here. You're not real, man. <laughs> I don't think anything of those things are real. You're lying on your bed in decency. I think it's either Mana Confluence or Seagate Oracle. <clears throat> I kind of like Seagate Oracle. I kind of like... I don't know. Prismatic Lens is kind of mad, actually. I guess they're both netting you. No, this nets you a mana. This doesn't net you anything. I guess it does if you're not adding color. But we want to add color because we got cold mana. You guys see these... I can't imagine another another uh, network not picking up Venture Brothers. I can't imagine like Hulu or Netflix or something not picking up Venture Brothers. That seems insane. I'm gonna. I'll take the stupid reflecting pool. Ooh, lightning bolt is nice. <clears throat> this is Chandra's ignition. Oh, watery grave now. Thank you. But watery grave. How many instants do we have? None, none, none. So this guy's terrible. Okay, watery grave it is. Urk, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. <clears throat> Welcome back, my dude. Verdant Catacomb actually gets Badlands, Blood Crypt, Fetid Pools, and Watery Grave, which is pretty sweet. I don't want to take any non-color, off-color Signets because they're not helping us cast Cruel Ultimatum. I think it's just Verdant Catacombs. I think we're just trying to fix our mana base at this point. Hot and fresh out the kitchen. Michael B is a little bitch. Not nah, that wasn't very good, right? <clears throat> He's not even here to defend himself. So I had some my one of the so the pairs of shoes I ordered were gonna get here today, and then I woke up and I refreshed my tracking and it said arriving late. And then like an hour later I refreshed it again because that's how you do when you're when you're neurotic, and then it said out for delivery. And then I refreshed it again, like an hour later, to see if it was delivered. So I can go check the mailbox. And now it says arriving late. And I'm like, but it was out for delivery. Did you, like, take it back to the home base? Or is it still out for delivery? Because apparently when it was arriving late, it was glitching, obviously, because it was, it was out for delivery. But now I'm like, uh... <clears throat> oh, it's your boy. Oh, wow, Bloodstained Mire, Dragon Skull Summit, and Nicol Bolas in this pack? Jesus. I think it's just Nicol Bolas, right? The fixing lands are fantastic, but I'm not passing up a... Now we have 7, 8, 9, so... It's always Bolas. Obosh. Fuck, this pack is terrible for us. Celestia Eulogist. Exile a creature card from a graveyard, then populate. That's fascinating. I like that. Creatures you control have double strike and lifelink. Wow, that's pretty bonkers. <clears throat> Wasn't this from Mirrodin? Okay, we're definitely not playing Obosh. Mindstone is rough because of this, but it does let us cast both of these. I think it's just Mindstone. <clears throat> What was, what was in there? The uh, the Black Intervention? I think that's fine. Unless that was the previous pack.
Waiting for the... Did you know Geico can save you 50% or more on car insurance? <clears throat> I didn't. I did know that if you use nordvpn.org slash Frank Lepore, you can save 68% on a two-year subscription and also get one month free. So if you guys are looking for internet security, definitely check out nordvpn.org slash Frank Lepore. Link is in the description below. And save that cheddar. Two-year subscription for 68% off plus one month free. It's a great deal. It's a great deal. I mean, I'm not passing a crumbling necropolis. I love you guys, but <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight lands to fix. Uh, Nord NordVPN is a team sponsor, so. Hot and fresh out the kitchen. My roommate is trolling every adult on Facebook post spam Venture Brothers lanes. He's gonna get banned. Discard a card, Tome Robber Explorers. Don't care about you. Nope. Knowledge, uh, search your terms as soon as you may cast. Search target opponent's library. Yeah, Shaman of the Great Hunt. Wish you had some art. Is this knowledge exploitation? We don't have any, like, we don't have any rogues. <coughs> I think it's just master predicaments. Choose a card in your hand. That player guesses what the card's going to be. It's greater than four. Sure. Eh, shoulder it. I'll just take shouldered. I don't know if we're going to play it. I guess we'll take Yuriko. When we're going to do a really top card library, put that card in your hand. Just, yeah, I mean, it just draws us a card. It's just a literal, like, oh, lightning bolt came back? Sure. Whenever you discard a creature card, create a 2-2. Two, two. Whenever you discard a land, add two black. Whenever you discard a non-creature, draw a card. Yeah, I'm just going to take... <sighs> I think Pyrohemia effects are really, really good. I don't know how great they are in this format, but they could be fantastic. So, Wow, Ezra Ozmaker came back? Yeah, I'll take Ezra Ozmaker. This card's great. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you may discard a card if you choose a creature. Whenever that creature does combat damage to a player, you draw two cards. Sure. <clears throat> Glad there's another pack left. Our deck is looking thin right now. Because we took all these lands. JTHD, you're referring to me? If so, it's frank at franklepore.com. <clears throat> Look at this Jaya Ballard art. Woof. Mm -hmm. Snapcaster Mage. Hmm. I feel like it's just Snappy Boy. But I don't think we have a Snappy Boy deck yet. We have Lightning Bolt, Agonizing Memories, Remorse. I always call it Memories. Um... It might just be Prophetic Bolt, actually. Yeah, we had like two reasonable Snapcaster targets here. I don't think that's enough. Doom Whisper is kind of sweet, but I think that's probably... I mean, like, I think Big Dumb Idiots are second to removal plus card draw. Ooh, Volcanic Island. Oof. 
But also Chandra, Murderous Rider. Oof. Volcanic Island's fantastic, though. And we, can, we can't search for it yet. Oh, no. Hmm. I'm going to take Chandra. I don't love doing it, but... Blah. Hostage Taker is nice. Phyrexian Metamorph is nice. And Flooded Strand gets Fetid Pools and Watery Graves, so that's pretty cool. I guess there's Metamorph here. <clears throat> When hostage taker enters the battlefield, do the thing that hostage takers do. <sighs> Dang it. I think it's just Metamorph here. I think Metamorph's good. <laughs> oh, Colagon's command? I like a Colagon's command. Yeah, let's take Colagon's command. Alright, so we need five more playables. And I'm sure we can probably find one or two in the sideboard. Like, worst case scenario, we can play Shield or we can play like Ransack. Look at the top three, put one in your hand and the rest in the graveyard. Like, that's fine. There's a veto. Oh shit, Boros Reckoner. Eh, Price of Fame is probably fine here. I, I don't hate thematic compass either. I'm gonna take the removal spell. Drowned Catacomb is nice. What does Silent Blade Oni do? Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, look at player's hand. You may cast the spell from among those cards without paying its mana cost. It's not bad. The problem is, like, we really don't have many creatures that are going to trigger these guys. <clears throat> I guess just drown catacombs. I guess we have fetid pools and watery grave. Eh, it's still good, though. We really want some... But it, it casts from their hand, right? It casts it all from look at their look at that player's hand. Yeah, like it's. I mean, it's still a big dude. Oh, you're saying casting ultimatums is what it's all about. I see what you're saying. I thought you meant like you were casting ultimatums from their hand. Oh, Temple of Epiphany. We need we need like got we need like card playables here. We need four playables. I think it's Solemn, but it might be Riftwing Cloudscape. You can go here technically. I'm gonna take clouds. Maybe. I'll take cloud skate. Ah, that was hard. I think I'd just rather have another card I can play on turn two rather than turn four. Under the sea. <clears throat> I mean, I could just see playing Karuga in the main deck. Oh, look, see, the Doom Whisperer came back. I might just take this, though. I think Doom Whisperer is a fine, a fine, a fine man. So how many times I said fi a fine, fine, a fine, a fine man? You may cast target creature card in a graveyard this turn. When you cast it this turn, having a Lich gains all activated abilities. Yeah, I think having a Lich is actually fine. Order of... Oh, Hostage Terror came back? Wow. That's for sure playable. 
<clears throat> Meyer Triton is also okay, I think. I mean, Meyer Triton's good with the Uriko, right? Like, I'll just ninjutsu this guy back to the hand. Alright, this is 23. I'm okay with this 23. Take Gisela. I'm going to ruin someone's Gisela dreams. <clears throat> Our fixing looks great. I think we play all of these, right? Yeah, this is wild. Just wild. <clears throat> I think this deck looks sweet. Um, the only cards I'd consider playing main deck are Heaven Gold Lich and Shieldred. I don't think either are that great. Chorwit. <clears throat> I'm tempted to just put Shieldred in over something else because Shieldred kind of just wins games. I have my window open here and I'm pretty sure I hear crickets, but I'm like, yo guys, it's like, it's like noon. Should you be cricketing this early? Now I need to make a cut, dude. What do I cut? <clears throat> Oh, I also hear the cars driving by, but... Ignite is kind of meh, but I feel like it's what you want to be doing in this queue. The crickets are driving? It's wild, dude. I can't even I can't even begin to explain it to you. You know what, guys? I can 41 it. I definitely hear some trash. Some trash being collected. All right, so what do we got here? One, how about, let's go black sources. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna say 11, okay? We'll say 11, we'll start with 11. Red, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is nine, okay? Blue, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, add one more red, done. We did it. <clears throat> we did it. So after Wafflegate this morning, I ordered some creme brulee pancakes from IHOP. They sent the creme, the creme and the sugar in a little tub, not caramelized. <laughs> Am I supposed to have my own blowtorch? Yeah, that's no good. The, the best part of creme brulee is the crisp... Like the crispy, like, the, oh God, that's so, that's disappointing. Snap keep of this one. This is a turn three Chandra, if we can hit a, another land that isn't a Fetid Pools. Can we do it?
Well, we're still going to play Signet here. Because either Chandra... I guess, I guess I'm just Chandra. <laughs> I was like, is it Chandra or the other card that we have? No, it's just Chandra. Land, 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 land. It wasn't a land. Thank you. Oh, Music Manly, what up? Welcome back. Thank you for the resub. We're going to pay like this. So that uh, I don't want to get censored or something. Huh. Joyra. Fascinating. I can, is this 3-2? Two? 2-2. Two, two. I can deal with that. Uh, don't care about that, even though it's kind of annoying, I guess. Hippocamp is fine. I actually do care. Maybe it's a complicate. Yeah, all right. Because <clears throat> if they go Joyra, then we get to go Chandra kill the Joyra. I'm okay with that. I feel like I face off a lot I guess a lot of midnight clocks in my in my limited experiences. And another lack of a land. Okay, well this guy's gonna get Oh boy. I've got my daughter taking her to school classes next to me in my office. I don't know if the cringe face is because you're taking her to school because uh, during during this specific time in the world, or if it's because she's next to your office and that's just too close. <clears throat> All right, they played a mountain, and they played an island. So island is gone, mountain is gone. And we know four of these five beautiful boys. But they didn't cast anything. Oh, they want to cast gr gr Great Shark, which is pretty good because it does kill our Chandra. That's actually kind of tricky now. Because then they just get to go Great Shark EOT and kill our Chandra. She's sitting at the, de the desk right next to me. <laughs> I will try to, uh, I'll try to keep this daughter next to you at work friendly. Oh, you have headphones. Then never mind. Then never mind. I guess we're just passing here. Like I can't play a Chandra when they have Great Shark. They do get a counter for their midnight clock, which is unfortunate. Or they just Oh. I was not expecting this. Interesting. I don't know how to deal with the worm coil engine. Maybe I should have taken that. I'll put both on top. We'll keep the catacombs because I want to hit a land, but also we could wait to shuffle if we really want the bolt, but I mean, ideally they just don't hit a six land. Oh my god. How loud is that, guys? Can you hear that? There's some shenanigans going on outside. It sounds like trash. Turn your riff wing cloud skate around. 
Okay, so actually now we just get to kill this. That seems pretty banging. I mean, okay. I think we're actually going to bone shredder giant here. They're going to suspend something? Oh, they suspended a worm coil engine. Sure. All right, then. And we're probably getting watery grave here, so we have a second blue source. If we get watery grave, can we just cast? I think we can cast ultimatum next turn. No, because this makes it. This is three red. We'd have blue, blue, black. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, that guy's gone, this guy's gone. <clears throat> this cube seems fun. Are you having fun? I'm having a good time. So hold on. One, two, three. So this is red, red. Black, black, black. Blue, blue. But we're going to have to use one of these. Oh, wait, wait. We can funnel one of the reds into this, right? So then we have red, red, blue. Blue, black, black, black. Yes. Yes. I want to draw the prophetic bolt. Give me that. Take, turn that. Get that clock out of here. All right. Let's see if I uh, totally fumbled this. Counter spell. Always have a motherfucking counter spell. Oh yeah. Never. Never don't have that. That was cool. Always a pleasure. Literally had like. Two, two cards that, that they could have drawn that could have been it and of course they drew it counterspells seem anti-live the dream this cube shouldn't have them I agree with you I just got my cruel ultimatum countered and they drew a card. So that's cool.
All right, so they're tapped out. Cool. Just give me a land. Thanks. Do 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 do. Hope you don't have a. What's the card we don't want? Fucking pack navigation or some bullshit. All right, destroy a permanent. Twenty three to twenty five. I'm not worried about that. Maybe I am. I mean, what could they... Like, they're going to have to draw two cards. Like, one, two, three, but then they can shell dock. Uh, I mean, it's very clear shell dock presents the biggest threat here, so... We'll just nug the shell dock. I'm a big kid, look what I can do. Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. Bolus sends his regards. <laughs> oh, Brad, I appreciate you, my dude. Oh, see, look, I'm glad we did get rid of it because then they could have just they could have just shell dock aisled here. Brad, thank you for the support, buddy. I appreciate you. Man, you can counter my cruel ultimatum, but you can't counter my bolus. And you can't counter Wallace over here sleeping in his dog bed. God, he's so pure. So they have two cards in hand. Worm coil's coming down next turn. You're gonna hit my bolus? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Oh, Super Fritz of the Gifted Sub to Pickle Bolus. Your favorite and mine. Can I just steal this? And this? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six mana. We can destroy something. We just kill all the things. Okay, so we just have to play around a worm coil engine, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can actually play Bone Crusher and Hostage Taker, or Bone Crusher keep up Prophetic Bolt. I mean, I'd probably rather steal their worm coil with Nicol Bolas, so that I don't have to. Like, because if we steal with Hostage Taker, it gives them a chance to to get it back. Seven, eight mana. Okay, I'm trying to figure this out. Mike has Mike is having some car issues actually, so I'm trying to like. He just responded about that. This is also nice because it's not arena, so I can just sit here and take as much time as I want. Um, this guy's on level 3, but level 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So they can definitely level this guy up to 7 next turn. Did he check the blinker fluid? Uh, so the light not being on was a pro- Wait, the, the light was on. What do you mean? What are you saying right now? Uh, at the beginning of each end step, if it's not your turn... So we can actually steal this guy on our turn. I don't know if they're not gonna if they want to invest like three, four more mana into this guy, that's fine. I'm just gonna destroy your midnight clock. And then I think we put Bone Crusher to block and keep up bolt, just in case. So we're gonna go add two. Thank you. Crush them bones. And then we can just keep up Prophetic Bolt. 
Adam, thank you so much for the resub. Frank, got a, finally got a job interview on Monday. Dude, I'm so glad to hear it, buddy. Dennis also had a job interview recently. So it's actually pretty sweet that all my Utah bros are uh, getting job interviews in the same week. I'm a big kid, look what I can do. My last car to crack in the headlight and would sometimes fill with water. I never had to check the blinker fluid in that car. It saved me money and time. <laughs> what? I don't even know what's going on anymore. Oh yeah, here we go. Untap. So at the beginning of each end step, if it's not your turn... So we're not going to let that guy trigger on our turn is really what we're saying. Because we're either going to... We're going to steal it one way or the other. One way or the other. I'm hiring for positions in OKC and and Salisaw OK. That's so many that's so much Oklahoma. Is that excuse? I didn't know you, are you in Oklahoma? I didn't think that's you wait. Didn't we meet before? Haven't we met Mitch? Are you just hiring for those positions or are you there? Well, before we do anything, I think I want to bolt this guy. I'm in Little Rock. Okay, that makes sense because, yeah, so when I was in Arkansas. When I was in Arkansas. I'll just put a Doom Whisper. Wait, why did I hit this guy? I meant to hit this guy. Oh, I'm terrible at this game. They all going in a couple of All right. Yeah, that was terrible. I, I I misclicked and I hit the wrong guy. I meant to kill the stupid hippo. That's fine. I mean, they're still going to gain control of this idiot. And then hostage taker of this idiot. Okay, the game just ended. <laughs> All right. Apparently, when you steal their their worm coil and their lighthouse chronologist with two planeswalkers on board, it's pretty good. Uh, I'll keep this hand. Beautiful. You stole their hope. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Hostage taker steals more than a hostage. Oh, man. Now it's like... Is it Signet? So, if we play Remorse next turn, then we can play Is it Signet into Cloudscape, which I think is better. But we can't go Cloudscape and then Is it Signet into Remorse because it's not going to give us a black, so... Ooh. So they're playing the deck that we tried to draft. Cast any number of cards exiled without paying their mana cost. You may cast an instant or sorcery without paying its mana cost. Yeah, like they're, they literally have all the cards that we want. All these do the same, so I'm just going to take the Midnight Clock. Thankfully, like, they don't have any cards we care about. They literally just have engine cards. So they're going to play Chemistry or Joy right here. How do you get a job as a lighthouse chronologist? You just show up at the lighthouse with a big bucket of time. Where's the lie? It might not even be worth suspending this. Yeah, it is, because then we get to play Master next turn instead. And then this guy's just free at some point. Nope, don't want to do that. Like, next turn, just playing Master. Is it copy it? If the player gets wrong, you may cast the card without paying. Eh, that's fine. Put 
Push it to the limit indeed. Guys, I really don't know if these shoes are going to get here today. Okay, so chemistry's this guy. Second island. What a predicament. What shoes did you order? I'll never tell. I will, however, show them on stream if they get here. Okay, I see. Alright. You gonna be a little shit pickle about it? Okay. Okay. Stone do 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 I think I care more about the is it cro chemistry, I was gonna say chrono master. Um I also don't want to get it countered, so I kinda just wanna do it right now. Maybe? Ugh god. <laughs> it is. These are these are actually the shoes. I don't know how you knew that, Magic Manly. Music Manly. That's actually pretty pretty impressive. Oh god. I'm tempted to bolt now, but like I mean we don't have any counter spells ourselves. Oh boy, none of these are exciting. Let's just take Ignite and we'll see how that goes. Man, you've never heard Ship Pickle? That is unfortunate. I'm waiting for my for my notification, my my tracking to be like going from arriving late to delivered. Something delivered, I'm yours. I'm just bounce this idiot. They're not playing anything. I don't understand. They have six mana. We know they have Omni Omni Spelly Barroso. What did I just say? Nobody knows. We're not playing a land because if we hit a land off this. We play those cards. Oh wow. Oh boy. Shandy. Ch -ch -ch -chandy. Shandy. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana next turn, so we can't do both. Let's exile the top card. Cannot play it. I don't know what their plan is here, because. Torrential Gear Hulk? Dream Eater. Seems good. Isn't obsessively staring at delivery matches? You mean tracking information? The best part of uh, ordering? 
it's definitely one of the most I don't, I don't want to say stressful but like I don't know It's both exciting and like stressful. What is going on here? The Nacho Mancer is really taking their sweet time. They just put Wave Break, Hippocamp, Hippocamp, uh, Island, and Dijon of Wishes into their trash can. Okay, well, they did keep one on top. We're at seven. I don't like it. It's all about the anticipation. When are my feet going to look like fish? That's true. It's all I can think about for the past week. I need fish feet, guys. Oh, that's fascinating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They have one mana. So we can go, can we go Chandra? Monday, Monday. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This could be red, red. Blue, blue, black, black. Yeah, we can do that. Every other day of the week is fine, yeah. <clears throat> Been playing Avengers, enjoying the hell out of it. That's good to know. I'm still on the fence about Avengers. I think Rift Wings probably better. Gives us an answer to some shenanigans. Orb at 10. Okay. Their Shell Dock's online now. So is their Omni Spell Adept. They have one card in hand. Wait, didn't they draw? Oh, they drew the card. Oh, were they going to play this? Yeah, everyone is saying that Miss Marvel kind of steals the show. Which is great. Kamala Khan's a fantastic character. You got it. You got it. Okay, so they have literally just their Sheldock Isle. There, <laughs> Okay, I'll do this. Um, one, a two, a three, and four. All right, let's see what you got here. Voracious Grady Boy. That's pretty good.
No. Don't like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we just play Doom Whisper here. I really don't want to bounce Voracious Grey Shark. So they're on top. They're in top deck mode. When are we getting some more spooky ghosts? I don't know, dude. It's been so hard to get. Don't, sorry, don't don't mind me if I called you dude. It's not it's not a. Uh... In my head, it's not gendered, but um. Yeah, like it's been hard to get everyone together to do it. What's happening right now? I want to go to blocks. Are they just trying to kill my... They're just trying to kill Chandra here? I respect it. Do we just ignite the future? I mean, we're here to play. We're here to like, live dreams, right? One, two, three, four, five. Really? You top deck something to counter this? <sighs> cool. Oh my god, they just took friggin' nine from expropriate. <laughs> well, that's hilarious. Oh, wow. Jesus. They had a family. Oof. Oh, does Colagon's command do anything? I guess we can play this guy, bounce this guy, right? Oh my god, are you literally just drawing mono counter spells? Wow. This is wild. Good lord. What an insane draw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess we still win here, though. Um, return a creature card, deals two damage. Return hostage taker, deal you two. Yeah, this is a blood crypt. Our deck is sweet.
Um, yeah, I'll keep this hand. This hand seems great. Living the dream. What is my favorite video game franchise? Fallout. Not even close. Probably just getting a blood crypt here. Grixis in this economy? It's more likely than you think. Uh, blood crypt. Uh, it doesn't matter. One, two. The, the first two original by Interplay were great. And uh, I've absolutely loved everything after. From Fallout New Vegas to Fallout 4. I guess we could have went Mindstone and Gonti. That might have been better. I don't know. Oh, they're grappling. Seed Guardian, Mire Triton, and Gravebreaker Lamia. I mean, I've heard Fallout 76 The Wastelanders is very, very enjoyable. And I've heard it's vastly improved over the initial game, the original game. Oh, it's a little mirror. I'm probably just going to kill this. You don't need to be having no six mana next turn. Okay. It's a great land. Um, yeah, we'll leave that one up. Black, black, blue. Oh, none of these are great with our deck. i take the Azoni, I guess. Maybe it could be good eventually. That was terrible. this dude we don't have enough mana for that yet West Virginia does not get good press you know I hear that One, two, three, four, five. I mean, we're just keeping both. I don't look at Nicol Bolas in the in the mouth. <laughs> what does that mean? I mean, we could literally just play Izoni as a two-three with literal no no upside, and I think that's probably correct.
Because, like, how long are we going to wait? Like, if we wait till both of these get killed, we get two 1-1s one -ones out of it. Like, I actually like the uh, sack another creature again. Oh, we don't actually have a green, though. Never mind. Okay, you get my Chandra, the Necromancy, Grave Break. Oh, there's a lot of things that are happening here. Is Mike be willing to ever try another spicy gummy? Probably not. There's no real value after the first one. You try the first one out of like, out of like Kitsch, but then like, what's the? There's no real point to it after that. It's not enjoyable, you know. So. They put a spider spawn. This deck seems great. One, it's like literal mono creatures. Well, four power, four toughness, deals two. Enchantment kills artifact. Return a creature, no creatures. This is actually what I was hoping would happen, because then we can get back our Gonti. Uh, destroy an artifact. We're gonna deal two. And turn a creature from your graveyard to your hand. This guy, and shoot you. One, two. Shanala, happy birthday. Shanala, it's your birthday. Uh -huh. uh, I, I don't know. I was I was I was kind of really winging it there. Wait, what did they do? Oh, they come uh, they communed with the gods. Commune with the gods. Okay, so we're definitely putting Gonti into play. Man, I remember having I remember having lands, dude. That was those were the days that we ate. No, oh, don't cast that. Oh, Jesus. Whew. Okay. Oh, Lanowar Visionary. We cannot hit lands. Lanowar Visionary is clearly the play, right? Like, not only does Land Over Jury give us a 7th man, it also gets us closer to one more land. So that's pretty cool. This guy's just filling this graveyard. They say it's your birthday. -ner 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 -ner. Shanala's birthday too, yeah. Yeah, their deck seems great. Like, this is like the, the perfect uh, reanimate deck. Black green reanimate. Is that an archetype? Let's find out. It's black green graveyard critters. That isn't it is an archetype. God, so many things are happening right now. How much does it cost to what does spider spine cost flashback? Seven? Ok, 
Okay. Well, let's play this gentleman. I mean, I feel like if we can just survive this turn, being able to go Nicol Bolas into Expropriate seems pretty good. I think they're going to Spider Spawning here. Okay. That's good. That's very good. Oh, why don't we just play this? We should just play this dude. I'm just going to take three here. What are your thoughts on the Fall series on Amazon Prime? I haven't watched it yet, but I mean, I, I, I'm ex I'm excited for it. Oh, we could have actually gone expropriate two turns, Nicol Bolas, another turn. Yeah, now we just might lose our Nicol Bolas, but... Uh, the Fallout show is not on Prime yet, but it, it has been, uh... What, what's the word I'm looking for? Announced. That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, they probably don't. they probably don't have a release date. It's probably way pushed back, especially with... COVID. Return a card from your graveyard. Fiend artisan? Okay. Oh, they didn't come at me. Oh my god. This is just bananas then. Look how many of their creatures I own. B A N A N A S. Whenever another creature dies or a creature cards put in a river from anywhere. Oh boy. Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Time is money, friend. Starting with each player votes for time or money for each time vote. Take an extra turn after this one. I will vote time. Oh, they just conceded from the game. <laughs> Alrighty then. Wow, we got to untap played Cruel Ultimatum. I don't know if we I don't know if they I don't know if they lose there, but I mean we're in good shape, bro. Well they can vote money and I then I just gain one of their, their permanents. I actually wanted them to vote time. If they cast it and they vote money, then it doesn't work. Because you gain a permanent from the person who votes money. So they can't, like, if I voted money, I can't gain a permanent from myself. 
No, I can. I just... I wouldn't. What is this? Having Glitch actually seems really good against this deck, right? You thought they cast it in their in their black green deck? Where we have it in our deck? Unbelievable. I actually think having Glitch is probably better than Master Predicaments here. Let's do that. Let's do that. Canon USA just called me, and I have no idea what they wanted. I'll keep the sand. Okay, hold on. Um, yeah, let's just do this guy. Oh, Frank, I have a meeting demo scheduled with Norm on Monday night. Dude, Josh, I'm really excited about the progress of this, uh, of this potential, this potential, uh, I was gonna say merger, but like this, uh, I don't even know what to call it, but I appreciate you, uh, you going through all this work, buddy. And making this deal happen if it's, or, you know, at least trying to. Business venture. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Guy's so good. I like our hand. We got a four or five. Their guys sent me a list of possible times for meeting, and they were all like 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. <laughs> yeah, because I imagine they're not in the U.S. You're like, can we do something a little bit later? Because that's uh, not ideal. Man, I'm getting real tired of these Gaunties. Oh, I can make. I got a Gaunty too. Or do I want a Llanowar Visionary? No, we want a Gaunty. Plague Crafter is unexciting. Nyx Weaver is unexciting. Mannequin. Mannequin's not bad because if they kill this, we can just get it back. Yeah, let's take a mannequin. Well, they have definitely enough creatures. I randomly found this video Lord of the Rings, but every time Sam takes a step to a mortar, he says it'll be the farthest he's ever been. <laughs> Why is this nine hours long? Again. After launch an assault upon Middle Earth, you know this. It'll be the farthest away from home I've ever been. How long? What? What is? How, why is this so long? Is it just nine hours of the movie where it's like all three movies, but he just says that and all the. Oh, Shadow Spear is nice. I mean, we're going to kill this Kalidus and feel good about it, so. You gotta watch the whole thing. It's only nine hours. Ooh, Nickel Balls Planeswalker? For sure. So next time we get to go, is it Signet into Ignite, try to hit a land? 
What does this give? Plus one, plus one, and trample and lifelink? Sure, that's fine. It's not great, but... Cool. You got it. No, don't like that. No, don't like that. Yeah, both of these are bad blocks for us. Come on, somebody kill Hostage Taker. That's not it at all. One, two, three, four, five. Mana Confluence, Rift Wing, and Island. Let's play Island here. Can't play another land, right? Okay. So next time we can play Confluence and Rift Wing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or we can just play Nickel Bolas. They can actually go Metamorph, Copy Hostage Taker, take Kuru Mind Eater, attack for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's pretty good. Guys, look at this dog. Oh, that's my that's my hand shield. Look at this ridiculous dog. Oh my god, he's too pure for this world. Um I actually might just want to chump block here. We'll go to seven. I don't know if that I don't know. I, th I think we might be too far behind right now. Classic Wally alum. It's true. God, he's such a he's such a good boy. Are they not casting the hostage taker card? This is very strange. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We could play this and take a point. Go to six. I'm not sure that's relevant. Not relevant, that's not the word I'm looking for. We could also ignite the future and potentially get hit three cards. <laughs> oh man, this is... Jesus. That's amazing. Oh my god, mediocre magic man. I'm sharing that with Mike and Katie. Okay. I don't think it's worth the, the, the mana. I think we have plenty of lands here. I'm just going to play this. Or the life, rather. I don't think it's worth the life. So we can go Nico Bolas. Steal this guy. 
don't know if that does anything, though. One, two, three, four, five. Like, the only thing we can do is Riftwing Cloudscape. I mean, like, if we if we keep Nickel Bolas on board, do we... We can also just steal this guy. But then he's just, like, 1-1. One, one. He's not great. I think stealing this guy's the, the play. Even though it's tapped. Ugh, God. I think we have to ignite the future and see what happens. If we end up getting Cruel Ultimatum, they sack this guy. We get nothing back from the graveyard. We go to 12. We can block here. We take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We could also just do like a several removal spells. I think this, I think we just gotta try to live the dream. Oh god. It could, it's gonna be three lands. Have and gold, mine stone, and another land. That's unfortunate. I think that's gonna be game. Yep, alright. Well, we tried. I mean, have and go blocks like this, and then we block here. We take one, two, three, four, five, six, and like. They could just metamorph something. That guy's a card drawing engine for sure. I think our deck is fine. Hold on one second. I will definitely play first. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this. B -b -b bad lands. Well, it's nice that Chandra can come down and not have to worry about, like, counter spells here. And then we can actually go... Can we go Chandra into Cruel Ultimatum? Did they miss a land drop? That seems no bueno. We don't want to play a mountain because we don't want to have three mountains, three red sources in play. So we want to hopefully draw, like, non non-mountain, non-mountain. They should make a cube that instead of land, you get black lotuses. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Did they... They hit a land? Did they hit a land? They put a forest. Sure. Uh, let's get fetid pools. Okay, we're living the dream. But either way, we get to play Shieldred next turn. Yeah, I don't care about this guy. No. That's the second time we've hit Azeroth's Maker with, like, with our Chandra. And I think we've only plussed it, like, twice. So now we have three red, so we can't... I guess we just have to cast Shieldred here. I mean, next turn if we hit any land... Oh, oh, good games. 
Next turn, if we hit any land, we can just cast Nicol Bolas. So, man, Chandra's really good at helping you ramp into these these fat boys. Oh no, I guess we have to cast Shieldred. The most firstest world problems. As far as backup plans, yeah, it is, but I just, we have no creatures in the graveyard, so it's like, eh. Man, this is the second Sheldock Isle we've played against. This is going so much better than I thought, having two 7-drops and 8 and a 9. Yeah, well, you know what, buddy? Suck on them eggs. <laughs> Okay, okay. This Kara Mind Eater might be able to go the distance. And by the... I love eggs, jokes on you. Oh, yeah? Me too, they're pretty good. Ooh, Azra Oddsmaker is interesting. Don't go counter in my Mind Eater. Don't counter my Mind Eater. They're like, let me read this first. Oh, okay. The spicy meatball. Ooh He's gonna mind eat. Gonna mind eat. Who knows, maybe opponent will be silly and pick time instead of money. I want them to pick time. I want all the turns. Time is money, friend. Well, we did not hit a land drop. I don't want to go Azra discard, target this guy, because I'm just assuming they have a removal spell. They haven't played anything. Okay, but... Okay, okay, but... Hmm. What's happening right now? Okay. That player exiles a card from their hand face down. Oh, you're just giving me a Dragon Lord, Tarka. I couldn't if I tried. Can we just assume that any card that has Leovold on it is broken? Um, yeah, I think that's a fair thing. Oh my god, these German Scott Adidas. <laughs> what even are these? Oh, Prophet of Crewfix. Oh, the crew fix is in, my dudes. Mm -hmm. Well, discard a card. Yeah, we're definitely discarding something. Probably shielded here. This has Menace. If you have a creature you can play, you're going to have to double lock, which means we can Kolagon's Command this and get back the Shield which is fine. How's Mike's Intermittent Fasting going? It's good, but he has, like, problems because it's... Sometimes he, like, gets real hungry during the day, you know? Because he's... What? Stop playing things. Oh, fascinating. This is all very interesting, what's happening here. 
Also, we get to draw two, so we're probably going to hit a land. If Magic the Gathering has anything to say. Oh my god, I'm, I'm so worried about not hitting land here. Oh, that's actually real good. They gave us a Hippocamp? Take me down to the Hippocamp City. Uh, kill this thing. Also, if we hit any land, we can actually cast Dromoka. Or, uh, Atarka. Yeah, Mike's doing the 4 hour. He's doing 24. So he's doing, like, between 6 and 10 are his meals. Okay, well, land is pretty good. What do they have? Like, are they playing flat? Are they just playing a flash deck? That doesn't make sense, right? When I was down, I was your clown. You know what? I will target this guy again. You, you may look at cards and we play lands and cast spells. I think we can get rid of Master Predicaments. I don't really care about you, you stupid idiot. Choose a creature. I'll choose the Azra this time because now both of them have benefits to. $10 a meal is not super cheap, but also, like, I assume you're using. You're eating fewer meals a day? Hmm. Okay. Well, at least we're trading here. What are they. What is their. What are they bouncing, though? Bouncing the the Karu spell snatchy. Mind eater. Okay. Are we trading here? Okay. Hmm. 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 Add two. Three four. Let's go Gonti. Wow. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Okay. Seems good. And we win the game. All right, sounds good. Oh no, all creatures would be insane. Yeah, it's just green creatures for uh for Milady Yeva. I'm gonna keep this even though we don't have any red mana. I still think it's pretty okay. Because we're just gonna draw Blood Crypt, right? Doom Whisper! It's basically the same thing.
Okay, what do you got here? A Cycler, a Prophet, a Frilled Mystic, and a Dragon Lord Atarka. Hmm. Does five damage, so it doesn't kill either of these. I kind of want to get rid of Frilled Mystic. Okay, they played Forest. Mmm, that was an okay draw. Especially because they have no real answer to it yet. Hopefully we draw land, then we can go Mind Stone into like Mire Triton. I guess we don't need a land for that, but, you know. Okay, or we just win. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out nordvpn.org slash franklapore if you guys want two years of of NordVPN protection for 68% off and one month free. Uh, it's a great way to support the channel and it's also a great deal from a great, uh, a great, great VPN. Uh, you can also check out manatraders.com. The link and promo code are down below and uh, you can get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code. So be sure to check that out as well. Slam those like and subscribe button, guys. Subscribe button. Subscribe buttons. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.